tell me again what the worst thing was that happened to you guys at a show. Well, the, wor the worst thing that I've had happen personally was uh, we were doing a show down in Wisconsin, down in the Green Bay area, and there was a, a individual, a woman who was really uh, enjoying herself, and she was dancing and she was getting pretty close, but then uh, out of nowhere, like at 120 miles an hour, <laughs> she hit the microphone, the microphone went up, and you know that little piece of skin, the flubba up in your, up yes, in your lip? the flubba. Uh, the flubba. Um, it, it ended up not being there anymore. It looked like Ow. I got a, a pretty good hit from Mike Tyson, and uh, <laughs> I was there was like blood coming down. Yeah, and it was and she just stopped in like complete horror. And was like, huh! and then she turned around and just beelined it for just the door. Bolted. Just bolted. It was uh, yeah. That's probably be about the worst that I've had happen. Uh, Kevin seemingly has people. That want to get as close to his is his what we call his piano, which yeah. is actually a steel guitar. Steel guitar. And uh, uh, people have poured drinks on it, and, and you know, oh. poor Kevin, you know, because it looks like a table. Because I can move. Yeah, Ke Kevin's just there. He's just know? stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. As well as as well as Loosh, and you know, poor Loosh. I would have to say that. You know, nothing really bad happens to Lush other than he has to look at her butt all night. He yeah, has to look at her asses and occupational hazard for and, a drummer. And that's all he gets his man ass all night. So <laughs> every once in a while, we we have to move in case we see at something least nice. Squeeze or, and release a little bit for you know. him. Well, we, we kind of go, hey, Lush, look, and then we block it. Yeah, know, so. that's just you know what. Because that's, that's the kind of guy I am. That's what drummers got to put up with. That's why I wear the extra tight pants for for Lush. I only tell you, you look sexy in those. <laughs> you, hey, I can say. It. I can, I, I, now let me ask you, so you guys, you're being interviewed, but what else is going on for you now? Did I hear something about you're being interviewed or the band's being interviewed on 102.3? Um, actually, tomorrow I will be on K-Bear 102.3. I will be, uh, it'll be at the 9 o'clock hour and during 9, 10 o'clock, somewhere in that vicinity. I'll be on with Todd uh, Overbeek. Oh, there you go. Uh, I think it's Coffee in the Morning with Todd, or, or, or I'm not sure what his show yeah. is called. But anyways, we'll be promoting uh, the February 11th South Range, right. um, 4th of July, Valentine's Day dance fundraiser. Okay, there you go. And it's a fundraiser that they're they're having for uh, to raise money for their 4th of July festivities, which includes the parade and their fireworks. And, nice. And this is the second or third third year that we're, we're doing this for him we usually get a pretty good turnout it's a it's it's for a great cause yeah you know this the <laughs> i love america yeah see that's why we got the flag going on dude. And, and i appreciate that i think and, and where is the actual uh did you already say where the actual it'll be at is? the south Ravens lounge it'll be from nine to one uh on february 11th which we're is talking, a saturday uh, we're talking a.m to p.m PM to AM. PM, okay, we gotta clarify. Sometimes <laughs> you never know. You never know when it's gonna be. All uh, right, listen, we gotta wrap it up here. But what can you? Do you want to give me a preview of what song you're gonna be playing? A preview? Yeah, or a little. Just give me yeah. a hint, because I don't even know what it is. What's gonna be? You know, I'm not really sure myself. I'm just gonna kind of wing something out, and whatever comes in the, into the wild man's brain. I'm guessing it's either gonna be Megan Trainer or Madonna. Actually, I was thinking because it's the uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday and Lady Gaga is going to be performing. Yes. I might do one of her hits or hit. Little bad romance. <laughs> Does she have more than one? I'm I not think, really sure. I think just the one. The only thing I really know about Lady Gaga is that she wore a meat dress, and I love meat. Right. So you it know, makes, it makes yeah. total sense. I I just hope that she killed the meat that she's wearing. Well, I think if she didn't, it was dead as soon as it touched her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, so, I, you know, personally, I, I actually I think that she's she's an amazing talent. Yeah, and, I, and, and I'm too. very happy that the Super Bowl finally got somebody with talent. Now I heard that she's going to be making like some some oh, don't say you it. know whatever uh, political statements, which is fine. That's uh, oh. that's our given freedoms in our in our wonderful sure. beautiful country. I personally just won't be watching the Super Bowl because I'm just really not into football. Me neither. It and, is Super Bowl and, Sunday, and we don't even, I don't care. Yeah, I don't you know really what I mean? care. So, you know, whatever statement it is, I'm sure it'll be a, a good one for whatever her cause is. And uh, that's wonderful. But if, it, if I had it my way, I would just say, leave that crap out and let's just, I wish they let's would. just enjoy some football. I wish they would. Give it up for the Chad, the Wild Man Borgen. Well, Tune in for the much. next clip, dude. He's going to be singing some songs, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be by Megan Trainer, dude. Outlaw. Outlaw, check it out. Woo! I got mine too. 
Cheers!